This is I Make Beats, and welcome to the channel. I know it's been a while since I posted a video. I do plan on going live very soon to break that whole backstory down. So be sure to click that subscribe and bell notification so you're notified. I have never was able to get my hands on the original OG OP1. Thanks to Z Zounds, I got something even better. The OP1 Field. So stick with me. Shout out to Z Zounds. They sent me the OP1 field for this review. So if you're interested in studio gear of any kind, be sure to click the link down in the description. They have a pay as you play program that really helps you stay up to date with the latest gear without big down payments. Today's video will be a overview of the OP1 field. I will not be doing a deep dive step-by-step -step instructional video today but if you guys are interested in that type of video be sure to check the link in the description i have a quick step guide created for the op1 field as well as a beginner's tutorial video in many ways the op1 field reminds me of Roland's MV1 just like that it has um, already preloaded drum kits and in this case synthesizers I think that right there is a huge workflow uh, necessity because you can turn this thing on and if you're on a drum track you already have eight preloaded drum kits as well as in your synths you have eight different synthesizers that you can access so i think that is a really big deal at any time you can change these preloaded sounds to whatever you like but it's just nice to have it already at your fingertips you don't have to really go searching for anything you can make changes later but get your idea out of your head really really plush sounds i love the the eye candy each uh instrument has its own kind of look and you can change the texture of each uh section of it you can rearrange the way uh the sound interacts with each other separate and bring her close together i think <laughs> this whole visual that uh teenage engineering's got going on in here is really cool drums One feature that they added in the OP1 field that was not available in the original OG is now keys are now velocity sensitive. As you can see here, they have it now as a selection in the list. So you could either have no velocity, but you can have it soft or hard. I think that adding that will allow uh, creators to be creative. Velocity is very important, so it's nice that they added this feature another built-in feature um, on the OP1 field as well as the original OG OP1 is just like the poly in tracker uh, there is a built-in radio to be in there the Rogers all services 
for more than search I store and outreach center has that very that alone opens up a plethora of doors for creativity being able to just hone in on a frequency sample to your heart's content and add it to your project awesome the sound on here the build quality everything so far has surprised me beyond i you know you look at it and most people when they look at the op1 they see it as a toy but i can guarantee you if you put your hands on one it will change your whole thought process just touching it told me okay this is quality Something that is unique to the OP-1. I've never seen any other uh, standalone device offer this. But the OP-1 also offers multiple sequencers. It has a total of six different sequencers. Now, they all sequence, but they all have their own characteristics. They all have a uniqueness about how they sequence. There are six sequencers in total. Uh, one of my favorites is Finger. As you can see, I got my little monkey buddies here. I think they are uh, visually, very visually pleasing, um, as well as in your sense. You got these two gentlemen. And they just join in with the fun. So visuals are really nice on here. Um, each one sequences in its own special way let's talk about the four tracks which is you know within itself pretty unique uh i know most of us are used to having more than four tracks i can honestly say that even though you only have four physical tracks uh what's unique to the op1 field you can record on the same track multiple times not just one sound so i'm going to play this and i'm going to show you what i'm talking about so let's play this so now all you're hearing right now is just the drums and if you notice i got kick snare hi-hat all that on that one track So let's just hypothetically say and I'm gonna lower that. And what's what's really dope too is let's say I decided to I want to add that for whatever reason. I can control how loud that's gonna be on the tape. So once it goes on the tape, it's permanent now. So so as you can see, it's it's not as loud as it was. Um, so I'm gonna put this in the track. Now you know that's dope. There are eight different effects types in the OP1. And one of them is called Mother. This one is called Mother. The Mother one alone allows you to gate and set the distance, how close, how far uh, the sound will be. (laughs) 
very unique. The mother is dope. Again, you have um, eight different effects in here, so you can kind of go through them, do the delays, and uh, the phone is tight, punch, you got spring, and terminal is a new one that was added uh, with the 1.5 update. Something else that makes creating on the OP1 field really unique is it's it's a recorder. Okay, you're, you're recording on a strip of tape. You have six minutes per track, and it's linear. So I'm going to play a section of this track that I made. And if you notice, if you look here, there's there's broken pieces in here because there were certain sections on track three that I didn't want to play. So you can build your song just like you would in any DAW. Um, you start off with four bar loops or two bar loops and then you can copy and paste those in your timeline and then remove sections as needed. And you'll hear stuff drop in and out right now. So check this out. So again, I don't feel limited on this machine, surprisingly. You know, you, you watch videos and you see what other people are doing and you go, yeah, there's no way. There's no way that that's not going to work. It's only four tracks. But honestly, this thing is surprisingly capable and the sound quality has really blown me away. Last but not least, of course, we know the OP-1 field does have a built-in sampler. And, you know, like most samplers, you have the ability to adjust uh, the pitch. As well as, you know, your starting endpoints of the sample. It's just it's a really great experience. I, I can't really, you know, put it into words. You have to put your hands on one of these to really understand what I'm saying. The build quality, the 